it's finally here, Game of Thrones. Ah, uh, I can't believe, I can't believe it. I did mean to uh, re review the season premiere, uh, but like I said uh, in my other in my other video that we had some internet problems, and you know, even though I did uh, like the the first episode, I kind of wanted to wait a little bit, wait and see the next episode, and kind of put the put those two together and see where I think this season is going, and well, that's what this video is going to be about. So let's get into it. Hi, I'm Albert. Hi, I'm Danny. Hi, I'm Jazz. Hi, I'm Toby. Welcome to Gamer State. Game of Thrones Season 6, Episode 1 and 2. So, um, talking a little bit about Episode 1, obviously kicks right off where the last one, where last season left off. And, yeah. Uh, huh. Jon Snow is still dead. Spoiler alert, obviously it's a little bit late, but if you don't know how season 5 ended, what are you doing here? Just, just what are you doing? Alright, so, still dead in episode 1, and obviously some, obviously you get to see what happens afterwards. So you get to see what happens with uh, Sansa and Reek. I know it's not the name, it's not actually Reek, but I'm just so used to him being Reek. It's, it's, it's just second nature to me now. Uh, they actually, obviously, they didn't just fall off into the abyss or whatever. They ended up, they, they end up surviving. I'm not going to be talking, I'm not going to be uh, spoiling the whole episode for you guys, but I'm just going to be talking about the, at least the beginning part of it. Let me just say this, guys. Game of Thrones knows how to start off a season right, and I gotta say, they did it, and right off, people are dying again. Uh, well, kind of more lesser characters a little bit here and there but um, you know bat like fights are already happening and drama is all over the place it's pretty it's it's good it's like I, I kind of didn't uh, enjoy the way season 5 started off and then how it was a little bit uh, boring because there was a lot of talking not a lot was going on this season, guys, from watching uh, episode one and episode two, now kind of jumping into episode two, a lot of shits going on. There's a lot of drama, especially in in, the, in King's Landing. There's the whole thing where those religious guys and the sparrow are like going up, are trying, are like shits going down between between the king, the empire, and them. It's gonna if it doesn't end up in an all-out brawl or war in King's Landing, it's gonna be like. If it doesn't go that way, I'll be a little bit disappointed, but I can see that it's starting to, the wheels are starting to turn in that direction, you know what I'm saying? And then obviously the wall and the, and oh god, those damn freaking, I gotta say, I, I've never, I, I've disliked some characters, but I can't, but I really am starting to hate almost all the guys from the freaking Night's Watch guys. They're starting to all piss me off. Luckily, and in episode two, it kind of gets, it, it gets a little bit better um, with, with the Night's Watch, especially since something pretty damn uh, cool. I kind of almost found a little bit like, like a little bit of smirk happening going on there. Of, of what happened. I'm not gonna tell you guys. I want you guys to check this, check the these episodes out. And obviously, the thing that happened with um, Khaleesi, where the horde, the horde of like freaking endless horses, just like were surrounding her. You finally get to see what hap what happens after that. And it's pretty much, um, and it, it's pretty much they. She ends up getting taken back t somewhere. Not, you don't exactly know exactly where it's at, but it's like somewhere. Uh, deserted, kind of desert-like. It's a bit sandy, um, but you end up finding out that those guys are actually are actually like those savages from like the first two, three seasons, where like she was married to that one to that one guy. I I, I I forgot his name. He died in like the first season, guys. Don't I can't I can't remember his name. I'll leave a picture. Boom, it's right there. But he's actually a uh, part of that. Part of that whole tribe thing that's that's going on some shit's gonna go down there and like it's it's gonna be a very interesting season guys you obviously we don't all we don't know exactly how the season's gonna turn out but i believe this season is gonna have a lot of shit's gonna go down now there's gonna be wars going on if there isn't like some type of civil war between um the sparrows the religious guys um and the king and cersei 
it's gonna be crazy. And, and not and not even I almost forgot about those Viper chicks from from Dawn. I wanna see some crazy shit go down with them. And it's almost like it's got it's bound to happen. I gotta say guys. I am very excited to see how the season turns out, and that's all I got, guys. Um, can't wait uh, to see the next episode, which is going to be episode 3. Um, I'm not going to be reviewing every episode, I'm going to just be, uh, if something crazy does happen throughout the season, I will talk about it. Just kind of uh, tell you guys how I thought about how the season kicked off. It starts off, it starts off really good, you guys are going to love it. If you guys have not seen it, if you thought, eh, I'm going to give up on Game of Thrones because of season 5 or whatever, don't. Check out the first two episodes, obviously, because that's just what, what's out right now. And trust me, you will be very interested. You want to see how the season plays out. And that's it for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, by all means, hit that like button as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you thought this video completely sucked, there's a dislike button right down there for you to press. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.